CAT 2021 slot 2 question number 21 two pipes A and B are attached to an empty water tank pipe A fills the tank while pipe B drains if pipe A is opened at 2 pm and pipe B is opened at 3 pm the tanks becomes full at 10 am 10 pm sorry instead if pipe A is opened at 2 pm and pipe B is opened at 4 pm then the tank becomes full at 6 pm if pipe B is not opened at all, then the time taken in minutes to fill the tank is. Now, this is an easy question really. If you understand that here, work is filling of the tank. You have a pipe A, which is filling the tank. You have pipe B, which is emptying the tank. And there are two cases given to you. In case 1, Pipe A is opened at 2 p.m. and pipe B is opened at 3 p.m. The outcome is tank is full at 10 p.m. This is the first case. And case 2 where pipe A is opened at 2 p.m. and pipe B at 4 p.m. Then the tank is full at 6 p.m. Obviously, you should, you should understand by now that since pipe A is filling and pipe B is emptying, if we say rate of pipe A is small a and rate of pipe B, rate of draining of pipe B is small b, from 2 pm to 10 pm, pipe A has been operational for 8 hours. And from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., pipe B has been operational for 7 hours. So if you take, take case 1 into account, 8 times rate of A minus 7 times rate of B fills the tank. Let's say the capacity of tank is C, the volume. Or if you don't like C, you can take it as V. Similarly, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., if you consider case 2, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., pipe A has been operational for 4 hours and pipe B has been operational for 2 hours. So, 4A minus 2B is also equal to V. And I could have taken any number, any random number instead of V. I can take it as 100 also. Hardly matters. Let us take it as 100. 100 liters is the volume of this tank. So, 8 times rate of A minus 7 times rate of B is 100. So, this is our first equation. This is your second equation. If you multiply the second equation by 2, you will get 8A minus 4B is equal to 200. And this is your third equation. All you have to do is equation 3 minus equation 1 will give you 3 times B is equal to 100 and B is 100 by 3. Put the value of B in any of the two equations. I put it in A. So, 8 times A minus 7 into 100 by 3 is equal to 100. So, 8 times A is equal to 700 by 3 plus 100. So, 1000 by 3 or A must be 1000 by 24. Now, A is the rate of A in liters and 100 liters is the volume. So, let us say it takes n hours to fill. This is rate per hour because we have taken A as rate per hour, B also as rate per hour. So, this is also rate of filling per hour, 1000 by 24. So, A multiplied by time must give you 100. So, 1000 multiplied by time must give you 100. So, T is 2.4 hours and if you convert this into minutes, you will get 144 minutes, which is your answer.